Hello. Hello. And good afternoon. Hello. This is from the reading room known as Dawn. That is me. The time now is 3.30 p.m. It is a Monday. So a happy Monday to everyone. And it's March 7th, 2022. So happy Monday to you all. I hope you're all having a great Monday. Hope you all had a great day at work. I um, hope the kids had a great day in school today. And yes, we're going to get right started into the video. But before I do, I just want to say thank you for just stopping by, looking at my YouTube channel called The Beauty Room. And yeah, how are you all doing today? I hope you had a great day and I hope you are going to have a blessed and wonderful week. Yes. So before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that way you will get the notification when I do uploads on new videos and future videos by the beauty room yes so let's get started so today's topic is going to be about encouraging others encouraging yourself so that is what my video today will be about encouraging yourself and others so just a few weeks ago i was really down on myself about my youtube channel because it's not having the, the success as other people are up there you know with their youtube because i'm very proud and happy for them on their youtube channel you know i do subscribe you know i do support you know of course you know it doesn't matter what color you are height sex whatever you are i will support you i will you know keep you encouraged you know so definitely i'll definitely subscribe and support but like i was saying about my youtube channel it's not excuse me <clears throat> so sorry excuse me excuse me it's not having the success as others, but I know by the Lord Jesus Christ that it will be up there. It will be up there to how I want it to be because I know it will because I pray about it every night. I pray about it when I wake up. I meditate. You know, of course, I pray. And I pray for you all too. I definitely, definitely do do that. I pray for you all so, so much, you know. And I thank you for the support, the prayers that I've was going through a few months ago of in a, being in a hospital where I had COVID-19, I had the pneumonia, and I had a mass on my chest from the COVID-19 and the pneumonia. So, but I thank God that I'm still here standing and talking to you all, talking to you all, the Beauty Room family. So if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell. So you again, you will get new videos and future uploads from the beauty room. That is me, Dawn. So yes, if you do not know that, and Hamilton is my fiance also, if you're new to my channel or you just stop me by uh, looking at a small YouTuber like myself. Yes, Hamilton is my fiance and we're getting married in less than six months and we're super duper excited, blessed and grateful to find one another and to be each other's soulmates to be to be each other's lives to have one another so i'm truly blessed and grateful to have him in my life a really good man that i've been praying for for so many years so ladies if you are single and you've been praying on a really good man and he came in your life be blessed and grateful because you gotta pray and you gotta really really pray hard on, on really what you ask god for so because he will send it to you he will send it to you Trust me, he will send it to you. So just be watchful of how you, of of what you pray for because you don't want a bad person in your life. You know, you don't want a person that will discourage you, you know, keep you down and talk about you behind your back and then be in your face and smiling and gigging it and then he talks bad about you behind your back where you're at work or whatever or if you're hanging out with the girls and he and he's hanging out with the guys. What kind of relationship is that? Because trust me, I had some bad seeds in my life. Trust me, that would be in another chat video. You know, I I mean, I had some bad apples in my life. Trust me, I had them bad, <laughs> very bad. So, you know, but I thank God that I'm here. You know, I'm proud of the color that I am, you know, but they weren't proud of to be with me because of the color I am. I'm too dark, you know, I'm too, I was too fat and you know, no other man, no other man or guy's going to want you because you're too dark, you're too ugly. I said, wow, <laughs> look at yourself before you talk about me. You know, because I had to go off a few times. But at that time, <laughs> I didn't care going off on you because you're not going to disrespect me in our relationship, you know, future relationship, if I even see you like that, you know. 
but you know but but god is good because he he took all them apple bad apples out of my life and gave me a good apple and i thank god for him so yes so i will be doing we're going to be doing a vlog about um how we're getting married and um before we go on our honeymoon yes we're going to orlando florida or california to universal studios for three weeks at a resort i'm so excited we're excited and so happy because we need that time to ourselves as mr and miss so you know i'm getting things for t-shirts that say mr and miss um martindale that'll be my new name martindale will be my new name and this number time i cannot wait i'm just so grateful and blessed you all I just don't know i just been so happy literally just planning ever since he asked me since hamilton proposed to me so yes um but that was our time, our special time, um, how he proposed to me. It was so, so, so sweet. It was romantic. You know, it was just me and him. So, you know, I was just shocked. You know, I was like, oh, my God, yes. You know, of course I said yes, you know, yes. But, you know, but, yeah, ladies um, and guys. Uh, but today's topic is just about staying encouraged. Staying encouraged is definitely a must-have at this time because of the COVID-19 you know, and whatever you're going through, read read your Bible, read a scripture that best fits you, you know, in the mornings when you wake up, how whatever morning routine you have. Because the routine that I have in the mornings when I wake up, I pray. I'm trying to start off. No, I'm, I'm sorry, start off. I start off wrong. I read in my Bible first of a few scriptures. I put that down and then I pray for a few minutes. I pray for myself, my family, my dad's family. And then I pray for you all and your family and your your significant other that's in your life, ladies and guys, you know. And then I get myself ready in the shower, get out the shower, get clothes on, and start my day. And I clean up around our home, you know, that we have for right now. We're blessed and grateful to have our home because God is truly about to bless us. This is our year to be blessed. And not just our year, many other couples as well you know just getting married or just starting off you know as husband and wife or girlfriend and boyfriend you know and you know even if you're seeing your girl your girl as your wife or ladies if you're seeing your guy as your husband and you know he's your husband and god told you then yeah there, there's nothing to stop you to because at the end of the day it's just all about you and him anyway you know and of course about your family his family you know and the, if your mother, future mother-in-law, sees you as her daughter-in-law, nothing can stop you, you know. But um, like I was saying, you know, if you wanted to go back to school or cooking school or getting a your master's degree or getting a degree period or an associate degree or getting a teacher's degree or getting a nail tech, you know, license, certificate, you know, that's, that, that is a blessing because that's what dreams and goals you have for yourself you know and you want to start off your youtube channel um being a nail tech having clients you know that's how you start off your videos on certain days you can do it that you have off you know if you work part-time and you're doing youtube part-time you know but you want youtube to be your full-time job because that's what i want i want youtube to be my full-time job and have a success you know for my youtube channel as well but not just for mine but for many others you know not just for mine because i'm not being exact i'm not a greedy person i'm not a selfish person i'm very selfless i love to give than to receive because that's kind of heart that i have you know because that's how my parents you know were with me just to show you know others you know appreciation being grateful you know being blessed you know you know helping somebody else out that you don't even know you know because you may never know what they're going through, you know, because there are things I've seen in life when I was growing up, you know, homeless people, um, you know, people was living on the streets, you know, um, just anything and everything I saw, you know, but great, the God, God, you know, never wanted me to be around that situation. So I thank God for that, you know, but I have seen it even as an adult now, I see it now, you know. I try my best to help out as much as I can, anybody and everybody, you know, that needs it and <clears throat> that's not going to take advantage of me, you know, I try to give change or a dollar or two, you know, whatever you need or buy you some food, you know, because that's the kind of heart that I have. I have that type of heart, you know, to give. I don't really like to receive, you know, because I don't know why I'm just like that, but 
you know, but I'm blessed and grateful to definitely be still standing in praise and glorifying God, you know, of course, yeah, for sure, yes. But I don't want to get off topic, but that's just what was on my mind and my heart to say, because those words could encourage you to somebody else, to help somebody else out. Because, you know, there are hard times right now because of the COVID-19 and people are losing their home, you know, they got to live with their family members that they haven't really seen or heard from in the, over some years or even five, ten years, even before the COVID hit, you know, before the COVID-19 hit, you know, and they're standing on hard times, you know, and you got to open the door to family, you know, because you, you're helping them out, you know, and they're helping you out, you know, of watching your kids or whichever, or being a part-time babysitter, while, you know, then the, day, the, day, the days that they have to work, they have to work, you know, on their days, you know, to make money to to get their selves back on feet, you know, on solid ground, you know, because I've actually been there too myself. So, you know, I had to live with some other, with other people, you know, and <clears throat> things weren't 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 right for me, you know, weren't the best for me, you know. <clears throat> but it's not all about me. But I'm just telling you my story, my life, how my life was, you know, way before I even done before I was doing YouTube, you know, but. <clears throat> But now that I've been doing, to, been doing YouTube, but before I was doing YouTube, about a couple of years before, I wanted to actually put, put myself out there and have the confidence, you know. I had to practice every time. I had to really be real and be myself, you know, <clears throat> not be perfect, not be professional, you know, and just <clears throat> when I talk, calm down, you know, not get excited because that's how my voice is. <clears throat> When I get real excited and happy about things, I talk extremely fast. So I apologize if you see me in the last few videos talking extremely fast. I'm so sorry because I've literally been so excited to film, you know, and do videos for you all to keep you all encouraged or to keep you all going, you know, and to not give up because that's what Satan wants you to do. He wants us to give up on our dreams, on our goals and to support our families and to support our significant other girls and guys who's in our life you know that, that's what satan wants us to do but you cannot let him you got to block him out block him out your mind block him out wherever he wants to be or to your left to your right behind you in front of you inside of you you know block him block satan out because that's how satan is satan satan will creep in on you on your good days your bad days your worst days your worst times your worst you're worse of everything, and you're good at everything too. He will creep in, you know, but you can't let Satan. You 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 can't let Satan win because that's what that's what Satan wants. He wants to see you fail. He wants you to see you all miserable and sad. Uh, okay, well, whatever. You know, I'm just gonna do this, do that, or whatever. I don't care. I don't care how I look. I don't care how I smell. I don't care how my how my hygiene is. No, oh no 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 no. You gotta keep keep yourself back on track of how you was. Keep yourself back on, you know, back on track. Continue to always make sure yourself smells good, look good. Not just for people out in the world to see you, but for yourself. Because that's to build your confidence more and more higher. You know, <clears throat> because when I was um, married before I met Hamilton, that's how I was. I didn't, well, of course, I took showers day and night. But yeah, I, I didn't really, well, I didn't really didn't apply any makeup. I may have lip gloss on, you know, a little mascara. That's that's it of uh, makeup. That's it, you know, because I really couldn't wear makeup. I, you know, in the relation of the marriage that I was in, wasn't. I mean, it was good in the beginning, but in the middle and the end was not good. But I had to remove myself from that because it was gonna literally kill me and put me under six feet underground. It was gonna really, literally kill me. You know, and my mom kept telling me, my family kept telling me to leave, to leave, to leave. I said, no. I said, you know, they would say, well, we didn't raise you like this. You know, your father and I didn't raise you like this to stay in a relationship that's not good and healthy for you. So, you know, but I had to literally sit back, get away from everybody, even, even my marriage. I really had to really think and say, what did Don really want to do? So I, so after my mom passed. I um asked when a year later when she passed, I got divorced and I got myself together, I got my head together. I had two jobs. <clears throat> I was working, I've always worked, 
you know, unless I'm sick or <clears throat> in the hospital. But yeah, but I always worked and, you know, really had myself on a good high shoulder, you know. And I was going to church, doing things good, right? You know, not doing anything bad, have my own place. Not a car, but I always have my own place. So, yeah, but, you know, but God, God has been good to me. God has really, really, really protected me. You know, so if you're going through something like that or things like a situation like that, please, ladies, please leave. You, there's help. There is help. People, counselors, your pastor, you know, at your church, you know, um, that would help you. People, strangers, trust me, trust me. God will provide. He will provide. He will provide. That song by Tamil by Tamla Man, he will provide. He will provide. He will get you out of a bad situation because 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 God sees your tears. He sees you cry. Because God knows I cried. So many years I cried. Got depressed. Almost killed myself a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> Me. Yes, I almost killed myself a couple times. And you know, I had to like I said, I had to really put my mind on other things stay focused stay positive you know and i finally did and now look at me now you know i'm blessed i'm grateful i'm alive i'm standing six feet above i have a i have two jobs my job job and then with youtube you know but i am gonna make some adjustments so i can do more videos and make youtube my full time because i believe in trusting god first because he comes first in my life before anything and anybody God comes first. I believe in that. And God will fight your battles. Um, that song by Yolanda Adams. God, I cannot think of that song. Oh, but she has a few gospel songs. If you like her, you know, um, if you listen to gospel sometimes or whichever, um, God will fight your battles. Because I definitely believe in that. Because I've been through some stuff. And God fought my battles for me. I never got hurt. hurt I mean, stabbed or nothing like that. Oh, yeah, I did. But almost you know stab yeah but not stab where you know i'm in a wheelchair or anything like that but all close to it a few times you know but 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 you know but we all go through stuff you know ladies and guys but ladies if you're in a bad relationship or if you're just in a situation stuck not just in a bad relationship but stuck and you're living in your car or living in a hotel the hotel or living in one hotel and you can't get out yes you can because you got to have faith of a faith of a mustard seed faith of jesus christ faith of the lord will get you out of that situation god will put you in a home that you don't have to put no down payment or nothing for because hamilton i blessing are is coming to us because god is going to bless us god will bless my youtube channel not just my youtube channel but bless many of others out there that are first timers on youtube or do have any other goals besides youtube dreams that they've been having for quite some time for some years you know god will provide and god will get you out of a situation so all you gotta do is stay strong have faith trust and believe in the lord jesus christ that he will get you out he will trust me if you see it in me he will get you out of it he will get you out of any, any situation that you are in and he will close that door for good for good and put you in a better situation put you in a better window where it's opportunities where it's positivity where it's strength where it's a new relationship or it was a new school for you for your children you know and great teachers and good principal in a good in a good building and then it'll bless you with a good job that gives you raises every three every three months you know and give you a, you know bless you with a vehicle that you gotta put maybe five hundred dollars down or even a hundred dollars down you know and you have a vehicle to get yourself to and from work, get your kids to and from school, you know, get you to have fun on the weekends with you and your kids or with you, just you and your kids as a single mom or even a single dad, you know, and you get, just got out of a relationship or you divorced or, sorry to say this, your spouse had passed away, you know, for some years, you know, and you've been praying and asking God to bless me to have a good woman or a good man in my life, going to church, you know, being faithful to him. Being faithful to him. That's all he wants you to do is be faithful to him. And, you know, you're paying your tithes and you're doing the right things. And God will give you that person that 
he that he that he made for you not you made for him but he made for you because you prayed on it you asked god for it you know you asked god for this or that blessing lord give me up the situation with this guy i can't do this no more for god hey you know i had a one on the uh give me all this situation because i don't know this person cuckoo crazy crazy loco or hoo 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 oh no you know so you just got to be careful on what you pray for what you ask god for because he he will give it to you he will give it to you because what uh, you know because um, because everybody falls in hard times not hard times you know not just you know one person a lot of people in the world that had a past you know we all had a past i had a past you know but you got to just leave the past behind and look for 2022 and say i'm not gonna stand for this no more i'm gonna stand on my own two feet i got this if i got this and i can do it in gym so can you okay so please stay safe stay strength in yourself focus on yourself focus on your dreams and goals because god loves you for who you are he loves you for who you are so definitely keep yourself encouraged keep your children encouraged keep yourself encouraged and there's days you know i know you don't want to get out of bed because there's days i don't want to get out of bed either but i know i got to pay this rent and pay bills because stuff will get turned off like like that and i'm and i don't want to be in the dark because i had to be in the dark a, a couple times but god provided for me and made sure my life was on made sure i had money to pay and extra money you know god have blessed me with a lot of things so i know for sure if you have faith or mustard seed and believe in jesus and believe in the lord jesus christ he will provide for you and he will put you in a better situation he will put you in a better light of life so what i'm saying is just <clears throat> just please don't give up do not give up you know um be true to yourself be true to who you are on youtube and yeah so stay safe and please stay encouraged god bless you all god loves you and remember this if if nothing else you don't want to remember or if this is or this is not for you you can turn it off you know turn the video off and go on about your day but please keep yourself focused keep your dreams and goals focused keep it on to a bulletin board with huge big paper you know and marker pen however you you know write or i mean write with excuse me however you write with put that on a bulletin put that on the bulletin board over it's a vacation or family dream vacation and you've never been to disneyland disney world and you want to take your family save that money up from since 2020 or 19 and this year is your year to go on a family vacation or a cruise or a family trip make that happen because you'll feel less stress you'll feel a uh, rock lifted off your shoulder and you'll feel so much better you know with being with your family being surrounded by your significant other you know and you'll feel a lot better because you need that family time you know everybody do i do you know but you know <clears throat> But yeah, but just keep yourself encouraged. Stay focused and stay blessed, okay? And do not forget to go on Switch TV. My fiance has his Twitch. So yeah, don't forget to go on Twitch, guys. You know, if you're um, liking um, video games, or you if you play video games, go on Twitch TV. It's Aries Gaming 9-0. Aries Gaming sign. So yeah, so definitely go on to that Twitch support and show some love. And yeah subscribe now to twitch and subscribe now to the video room make sure you are subscribed like comment this video and share your this video with your family and friends and tell everyone and everybody around you that you that's a youtube channel out here it's called the beauty room and she's doing her thing don't forget to go to twitch tv my fiance's youtube channel which i'm so proud of him he's doing he's doing he's doing it's called twitch tv Guys, if you're the girls, guys, you know, girls or guys like video games, like to play video games, go on Switch TV right now. Um, after you leave this video, of course, after you leave this video, go on to Twitch TV, go to Aries Gaming 90, subscribe, view, and tell everybody else about Twitch TV and about Aries Gaming 90. So God bless you all. Please stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.